And here's the framework that I was just talking about. So it's two dimensions. Each one of these big legs represents the a different dimension. Well, that's each one of these big legs here. The morning, early afternoon, and then the late afternoon are the close, right? Then I also showed you the proximity dimension. Zone one, zone two, and zone three. And that's what we're seeing on each one of these legs. So there's a zone one here for morning, zone two, zone three for the morning, and a zone one, two, and three for the afternoon. And we kind of negate zone three in the late afternoon. We just do a zone two and a zone three. Because if it's in zone one in the late afternoon, then you might as well just forget about it. You're probably not going to make profit, right? Now, the reason why we create this framework is so that when we are in one of these situations, each one of these situations, we have to evaluate the market and decide what we're going to do. Are we going to take profit or not? Now, that answer for the morning is going to be very different if we are here here or here, if we're in zone one, zone two, or zone three. It's also, it's gonna be different in a lot of different aspects. This, this starts getting really, really complex when you start talking about different widths of, of uh, flies, because we choose different widths of flies for different reasons. But that is generally our framework. It's two dimensional. We split it up into a time frame and then a proximity to the strategy, price proximity. And then where those two pieces intersect, we have a separate strategy for how we're going to treat our trade. Now, the things that can influence how we treat it within each one of those intersections can be affected by volatility, the width of our fly, any economic reports that are coming out, the underlying market structure, price action, all of those things come into play. And that's why trading is the hardest way to make easy money because you need to become a master of all of these different aspects of the trade and understanding how each one of those aspects is going to affect the trade and what your probabilities of profiting are at each one of those intersections in the framework. So I'm sure that you thought that trading was just this simple thing. Someone gives you a strategy and it's either profitable or not. You couldn't be further from the truth. If you're thinking that way, that's what a typical retail trader would think. This, what I'm showing you, is how a professional thinks about trading. Within each one of these situations, we have probably gone through dozens of trades and experiences that all have different unique characteristics with them. And we've learned a tremendous amount. And each time that we go through one of those experiences, we log and we journal that experience and we learn from it. And within each one of those intersections of our framework, we've developed a unique position or a unique approach to how we're going to handle or manage our profit. And it's very nuanced. There's a lot of things that can affect it. Like I said, some of the biggest things that affect it are the underlying market structure or economic reports that are coming out, events that could be happening at that time, the momentum that you see in the market. They're all going to compel you to make a decision.